Hi, I'm Melissa, your Free Range Psychic, and today I am going to do a guided tarot reading on the GOP. When I do these readings, I uh, don't shuffle the deck and choose the cards. I ask my spirit guides to show me uh, the cards, uh, and they show them to me psychically, and then I ask them why they chose those cards. I use a simple Celtic cross layout and uh, the Cyril Marchetti uh, Gilded Tarot. Um, at least I'm using it for this reading. So the first card that my uh, guides um, chose is the Tower. So they said that the Tower represents the GOP crashing and burning. Um, outside the GOP may appear to be unified, but inside they're at each other's throats. Um, the guides wanted me to point out the lightning hitting the tower. So they say this lightning is uh, coming from a cosmic, um, or it's cosmic and it's coming from a divine force and a divine source. Um, so it means sudden illumination, revelations, and revealing of truths causing cracks in the edifice of the GOP party itself. And this uh, 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 body uh, falling out of the tower represents rats jumping ship. Um, so the, yes, the end, it, it also, this card, uh, my guides told me, means the end of the illusion of the GOP. We get to see everything hidden, uh, all the rotten in details. The above card, the Ten of Swords. So this card, uh, they said this is Trump underneath, and this, uh, these are the, um, the GOP are the swords. And basically they said this card represents um, that the, uh, because of their intense and unyielding support of Trump, uh, they have um, uh, uh, also um, uh, become tarnished with the same brush, so to speak. They are one with Trump. So whatever happens to Trump happens to the GOP. You cannot separate them. So um, in the recent past, the Knight of Swords, and my guide said this is the um, strategy of the GOP. The best offense or offense is a defense. So when they're on the uh, when they're being attacked, they uh, they attack. Um, for instance, uh, you know during Co Michael Cohen's trial, they they didn't answer any, any of the concerns that were brought up in that trial um, regarding um, you know uh, uh, Trump's collusion or Trump's um, corruption, uh, Trump's involvement with Russia. Instead of they just attacked Cohen. Um, my guys also uh, wanted me to remind. Uh, uh, you about uh, the use of projection, and Trump uses this all the time, so the GOP, the projection is projecting onto others what is um, uh, something you don't uh, uh, want to be known about yourself or you feel uncomfortable about. In this um, context, it's deflection. So, you know, Hillary's emails, <laughs> um, you know, lock her up. Uh, um, the, you know, her involvement with Russia, all of that was what Trump was doing. And you can uh, bet uh, uh, or take it to, that to the bank, as Linda Chi might say, and I love that expression, that whenever they're um, attacking others, it's them. You can go, oh, okay, they've done that. That's what they're doing. That's what they're trying to cover up. If they accuse somebody else of wrongdoing, they're doing it. You can be sure of it. So the beneath card of what's hidden, this is Putin comes up in every reading about the GOP, right? Um, and the, uh, and Trump and uh, any character in the tr Trump administration, at least anything that I've done, but I've seen that also in other readers. This is Putin, and basically my guides are saying Putin owns the GOP lock, stock, and barrel. Um, through money contributions, through loans, uh, and through compromise or compromised um, information. Um, Putin owns the major players, for sure, you know, McConnell, um, uh, uh, Rand, um, you know, uh, the, the, um, uh, Nunes, um, it, it, and, and my guide said that even the, 
There may be GOP that are not as compromised or as corrupt, but um, they say the GOP is like a corporation and the, the Russians are the major shareholders. And uh, I know people have been asking about the Freedom Caucus and they said, yeah, well, the Freedom Caucus are a major subsidiary of, of the GO, uh, uh, sorry, of, of Putin. So this is the GOP carrying out uh, the, the uh, agenda of Putin and owned by Putin. In the near future, the Knight of Wands, and uh, they say this is the GOP becoming very aggressive, and they're already beginning to do that regarding um, getting uh, not just some, but all of their agenda passed, all of their ultra right wing conservative, conservative agenda that they've been wanting to pass forever, um, including you know ending Medicare and Social Security, abortion, um, you know major deregulation, if not getting rid of you know all of um, any uh, regulation on um, um, the extraction industries, um, uh, pollution, and um, uh, any research on uh, climate change, um, health care, getting rid of, uh, you know, uh, uh, the um, Affordable Care Act, anything, um, you know, that you can think of, they're, they're going to try to um, to get rid of it. They're, it's like they, they're trying to run down the clock. They're, it's like it's a, and I, I do believe the GOP really believe in uh, this is how politics go. It's like a football game. You got the ball and you're gonna, you know, you're gonna like uh, uh, try to either run down the clock or make that that final goal um, or score and uh, or touchdown. Sorry, <laughs> you can see I don't, I don't watch a lot of football, but um, this they're they're using this time right now to, to to do that. That's that's the near future. So the clarifying card is um, death also comes up in a lot of these readings. Um, oh, wait a minute. This is a clarifying card. I'm sorry, but de death was the outcome card. So this card is really interesting. In my notes, um, my guide said insanity. The insanity of Trump contaminating the decision-making processes of the GOP. So they pointed out that um, and, and, and this layout is pretty similar in, in, in the majority of tarot cards I've seen of any deck. Um, you have a wild dog and you have a domesticated dog, but they're both baying at the moon. They're both ruled by the same lunar forces. So they say tr you can look at Trump as being the wild dog and the GOP as the domesticated dogs, but they're both um, baying at the, the moon um, and they're both caught up in the same insanity, um, in the same irrationality. Um, so um, my guides... Uh, yeah, oh, basically they said they're being ruled by the same lunar forces. Um, so they reminded me that Trump does have a certifiable diagnosis, according to thousands of psychiatrists and um, other mental health professionals, uh, which is malignant narcissistic personality disorder. So it, 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 it's not really even, um, you know, is he crazy? Yeah, <laughs> but for the majority of mental health providers, yes, he, he has a diagnosis and it's a, it's a very dangerous diagnosis. I don't know if anybody's known a malignant narcissist or worked with them or knows uh, if that you look up in the diagnostic statistical manual um, uh, for psychologists at DSM-5 and uh, you will uh, see the diagnosis there. Um, and uh, it's in there because it is a mental illness. It's a, you know, a characterological illness. And uh, these people can be very dangerous and they do have impaired um, frontal lobes, uh, impulsivity, and um, they have irrational um, decision-making processes, but they're e extremely predatory and very clever. They're, you know, they have sociopathic traits. Um, they're pathological. So um, that overlay is um, uh, also um, uh, informing the GOP or the GOP are now under that, um, uh, you know, uh, set of symptomology <laughs> as Trump. And um, so basically they reminded me also of the, the New Yorker cover. I don't know if anybody's seen that. It's a recent one where um, the, the, I think it's, it's Mitch McConnell, um, Lindsey Graham, and uh, maybe Rand Paul, and they're shining Trump's shoes. <laughs> Kind of at his feet, and 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 the motivation there is um, greed and power. Uh, but as they're, um, uh, you know, um, the more they get, uh, 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 they vie for um, 
uh, money and power, uh, which they get under, you know, uh, from Trump, the more they uh, Trump um, uh, makes them debase themselves and fight amongst themselves to prove their loyalty and gain his favor and a, a political support that, so they can get elected. And um, then it came to mind um, uh, th that book that I don't, I, I apologize, I should have looked it up before I did this reading, but somebody wrote a book about like everything that Trump touches dies. Um, he infects everything around him. So he's infected the GOP with his own insanity. Uh, and basically they said, my guide said, the lunatics are running the asylum. <laughs> Uh, so the outcome card is the death card. Um, so all of this insanity leads to the death of the GOP. It's just not sustainable. That ship sailed a long time ago. Um, and uh, they wanted me to um, pull out this card again. So they cannot survive. Um, uh, yeah, Trump kills everything he touches. So that's my reading on the GOP. And I asked for a card for us. And my guides well, chose a card from this deck. The, um, here, Diana Cooper's Angels of uh, the Light, or Angels of Light deck. And, and the card they chose is Discernment. So I'm going to read the card. Um, discernment means sensing what feels right or wrong, trusting your judgment and acting on it. Your angel guidance is to look at the people and situations in your life now and respond to your gut feeling. Learn to develop your intuition and ask the angels to help you discern the good from the bad. They will pr prompt and guide you. Um, as a result, you will feel safer, happier, stronger, and clearer. Angel wisdom reminds you that when you can be trusted to use discernment, you can serve the universe in a great way. The affirmation is, I trust my intuition. <laughs> so when I was reading this, I also um, wanted to interject, not just uh, discerning the good from the bad, Oftentimes we get confused because, you know, we want to say, oh, well, it might, it, it might be wrong for me, but is it necessarily wrong um, for that person? Or, or am I, you know, making a, am I biased or prejudiced? Or um, maybe I need to see it from that person's point of view. But we often forget to ask, is this helpful or hurtful for me? Whatever I, you know, uh, is going on with that person or that situation, um, and I can't 100% say, you know, I'm right uh, about it or that it's even it's a bad thing. Is it helping me or is it hurting me? And we really need to um, take that into consideration because even if it's, it's, it might be a potentially a fine thing for another person, you know, one man's meat is another man's poison. If it's not helping us, then that is a really important thing. Um, uh, uh, factor in, in making a decision as to whether you like you keep a person in your life or not, or you continue in a job or not, if it's hurting you, then trust that. And that's not even, a, you know, that's not a, a judgment about the, uh, the situation of the person. That's just really being able to say to yourself, I don't like this. This is not good for me. I'm not handling this well, or it's it's taking too much energy from me. And what, regardless of what um, is going on for other people there, I need to step away from it because I need to take care of myself. I don't need to get caught up in uh, trying to care too much about what other people are thinking or whether I'm uh, uh, wrong or right. I need to, to help myself. I need to make the best decision for me. And if it's not right for me at this time, for what, for whatever reason, then I, I can say no, or I can pull away. That's fine. You don't have to spend your life pleasing other people or being tied to what you think other people think is right or wrong. This card really is about developing discernment to find out what, what is right for you so that you can become stronger, happier, healthier, more centered, uh, and have less situations in your life that are draining or sucking your energy, where you can, um, you know, uh, reasonably be able to make that decision, then make that decision.
So um, the, uh, the affirmation is, I trust my intuition. And when we start to trust our intuition, then uh, we can guide ourselves through our lives in, in a much less conflicted and a, a more healthy way. So um, I do personal readings. I um, uh, do past life readings, present uh, readings, meaning, I, oh, I, I, you know, I often forget to say I can read the past in this life, not just for past lives, um, you know, present, future, um, I uh, can help you uh, uh, connect and communicate to well, ones who have uh, passed over, made their transition. Uh, also, I love to um, introduce people to their guardian angels. And uh, the, the more we um, know who our guardian angels are, uh, then uh, the closer we can work with them. And uh, it, it's so exciting to <laughs> be working really closely with your guardian angels to know why they're there. To, they're really, the more you know about them, the more it illuminates what your uh, purpose is here, because they can help you um, understand that. They've come to you because of your purpose, your life's purpose, to help you um, develop that and actualize it. Um, so saying that, uh, uh, it's another Saturday. <laughs> I was going to make a, a, another video through the week and the week just, I couldn't do it. So I had to wait till today. Um, so it's the, um, 8th of June, 2019. It's a beautiful summer day here or not summer day. It feels like summer. It's a beautiful spring day here in, uh, Michigan. And uh, I probably should get outside into it. Uh, um, we've had sun now for um, about a week. It's amazing because we, we, we haven't had this much sun for a really long time. It's beautiful and I think we all want to bask in it. I uh, hope wherever this finds you and, and whenever it finds you, um, you are well. And uh, I look forward to doing another reading. Um, and uh, I uh, will see you next time. So take care.